Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? Why should someone be gay? We bring in the studio this morning one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr.? Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Me. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what shows that I'm gay? You are a transgender yes, and you're a gay am. rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? I am Pepe Julia Nonzima. I'm um, an LGBTI What's that? activist. I'm a human rights defender. I'll, I'll get to wh wh what it is. I'm a human rights defender. Um, currently focusing on LGBTI uh, issues. LGBTI means L is for lesbian, which um, is described as women who are attract, attracted to each other, females who are attracted to each other, mentally, emotionally, and physically. And then uh, gay is two males who are emotionally, physically, uh, sexually attracted to each other. Uh, bisexuals are usually attracted to persons of their own sex as well as the opposite sex. Uh, this one, um, usually, it's, it's not simultaneously. It's one at a time. One also tends to, at a certain period of time, overweighs um, the other. Then transgender is uh, basically an umbrella term to, to, to describe people who um, do not conform to the sex that they are assigned at birth. Mm -hmm. uh, an umbrella term in the sense that there are people who um, are called transsexuals, they are transversatites, they are cross-dressers, and um, they, they fall under this umbrella. The people who, who, who dress up to express themselves as the sex that were, they were not assigned at birth. Then there are those who actually go and have reassignment of that particular sex, sex that they were assigned at birth. Um, intersex mm -hmm. is um, people who are born with uh, two sexual organs and it can be expressed either externally, as in you can vis uh, visibly see it, or internally, as in the, the organs can be, one of them can be displayed internally. But I'm not a medical uh, expert, so I, 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 I can't give you more than that for that. But, uh, and where do you lie? Common, the common thing, the word they use to describe intersex people is uh, hermaphrodite. Hmm. But in my line of work, that is derogative. Where do I lie? I'm a transgender person. Transgender. You are initially male or female? The sex that was assigned to me at birth was female. And you opted to become male? Not exactly opting. It's, 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 it, it's something that I have been since I was, uh, I was young. But um, yeah, in terms of uh, expression, it's, it's who I am now. How did you discover that you are actually meant to be male? Well, um, growing up, you know, a, a child is born. And when you're growing up, you're, you're within a society that has a certain structure. Yeah? And you see yourself basically fitting more in a certain box. I said I was born female, but I was my expression at that time and my internal sense of myself was male. So have you, have you realigned yourself into being a male or you still share both, bo both sexes? Uh, I am within transition. You're within transition? Yes. Now, we're looking at the raging debate. Uh, you're a gay rights activist. Why should someone be gay? Just for the record, I am 
not a gay rights activist. I believe there's nothing like gay rights. There is human rights. There right. is human rights. Uh, and, and, and there are humans who are gay and those who are not gay. So I'm a human rights activist who is um, um, advocating for equality for even people who um, have different sexual orientation or gender identity. So as we stand today, are you dating any female? Yes, I am. You have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. While in transition, you're having a girlfriend? Yes. Do you perform the natural obligations? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sexually active right now. So what are By you doing choice. with this lady? By choice. By choice? Yeah. I've just not, uh, I've chosen not to engage. Doesn't that make you gay? What do you mean doesn't that make me gay? I am, I am male and attracted to a female. So who is gay? I described a gay person earlier. Someone attracted to, 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 to the same sex. To the same sex. Yeah. Mentally, emotionally, f uh, physically, sexually. So as a human rights activist, what do you think of gays? Are they normal? Is it normal to be gay? Absolutely. I mean, um, most, mo most people... We, we had a chat a little earlier, and um, gay people are born that way. They are born gay. Yeah? Because you tend to realize yourself as, um, or, or, or find out these changes in you when you're a child. But because of the structures of the society, as it is now, about uh, male and female, all those boxes that are placed there, if, as a male, I'm attracted to another male, when we're growing up, the structure is, uh, okay, Simon, Simon has a son. Simon will marry, um, the, the sort of betroth you as kids, you know? They will be like, uh, Simon's son um, will marry Pepe's daughter, yeah? But then Pepe's daughter or Simon's son realizes that as he's growing up, actually this thing is not working. You know, he's not attracted to my daughter, but he's attracted to my son. But because society dictates that it should be my daughter with your son, then people tend to hide who they are. And then people think that it's a choice. But the whole, um, the whole feeling, the, the, the physical, the emotional, begins at a very early stage. And when people get to an age of uh, puberty where uh, in, in, in most cases, people get uh, sexually active. Most gay people do not express with the same sex due to fear, due to the, because they do not want to be seen as, um, as not being part of the society. But gay people are actually born with this orientation. Is this a disorder? Absolutely or something not. Natural? It's not. Um, we have uh, records from the World Health Organization. You know, a team of experts who also thought, who thought it was a mental disorder. And later on, it was scraped off the list of disorders. And I'm, I'm not just using that um, as, as a, an SI unit or a, a yardstick to, 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 to say that uh, it's not a disorder, but it also backs up the fact that it's not a disorder. I have lived for, for a certain period of time, I lived as, um, as a gay person because it was the easiest way for me to come out to my family to say I'm a lesbian and not a transgender, you see. And how did it feel? What? Being gay then. It's, it's, it's normal, I mean, it's, it's human. It, it, there's nothing, there's, there, there's nothing uh, strange about it. What is strange about it is the way people react when you tell them you're not like them. Uh, what do you think of the stereotype that uh, this gay culture has received in Uganda? It's very disheartening. Um, we, are, we are humans, we are Ugandans, we've been born here, we've been raised here, we've gone to school here. 
Um, some of us have been forced to get married here. So this is, um, is, 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 is a country for all of us. But the, the stereotype is really hurtful because as a transgender person, I've described to you that I'm attracted to female. That if, if, if it came to down to my sexual orientation, I'm heterosexual. But when people look at, at me, they automatically think, you know, the automatic thing is that I'm gay and they will attack me as a gay person. Do you feel you deserve sympathy when whatever you're doing is very unnatural, biblically and uh, socially, uh, naturally, it's unnatural? I think it's, 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 it's the fear of the unknown. People who do not understand um, homosexual people think all these things about homosexuality. And people normally th go straight away to thinking about sex. And mm. that is where the danger is. And because of uh, a lot of ignorance as well, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's a bit um, difficult. Uh, we, I, I wouldn't say we deserve or want sympathy, but I believe that as Africans, as Ugandans, we are a tolerant uh, country. We are, uh, our, our nature is actually. We, 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 how many we people Ugandans, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Ugandans. I'm speaking as a Ugandan. I'm speaking as a Ugandan. And how many Ugandans are into this practice? What do you mean practice? Okay, this culture. <laughs> May, le, 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 let me rephrase it and answer it this way. How many homosexual people are there in, 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 in this country? There are no statistics. Um, there have been uh, guesses for about 3% um, to 5% of the Ugandan population. Mm. But um, obviously with uh, space, us being pushed away from, the, from, from, from space, uh, to, to be able to raise awareness, it's very difficult for us to carry out um, a survey to find out how many we actually are in this country. So are you craving for attention or recognition? Craving is not the word I would use. I would say that um, we are working, I am working towards um, the liberty, the equality of all persons, and no person should be discriminated or stigmatized because they are of a different sexual orientation or gender identity. So it is about equality, which is guaranteed by the Ugandan constitution. Don't you think gays, homosexuals, lesbians, uh, transgenders should instead be reoriented other than uh, uh, receiving all this kind of recognition? Because society seems to deem them as unnatural, as people who are maybe lost. Simon, you're seated with me right now. Yes. How unnatural is that? Well, it's natural, but I'm just baffled. <laughs> well, we, we, we are not craving for attention. And if, if you look at the attention that, um, that, that we are getting, it's totally negative. You know, it's, it's, it's of how unnatural we are, how an African, how an, an Ugandan we are, all those things. And, you know, it, it also baffles me if we, with all this negative uh, press, negative press, negative, all the negativity. Where would I choose to be who I am? Before we go for a break, uh, President Museveni said that uh, you can go ahead with whatever you're doing, with your homosexuality, for as long as you don't come out in the open. Do you really feel he came out in support of what you're doing? No, I don't think he came in support. Um, because he's, if, f for me, I feel partly it's, uh, it's, it, it's like giving and taking at the same time before, be, 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 before you, you, you touch whatever you're being given, it's taken away. Uh, he says no killing, no persecution, as, as in homosexuals won't be killed or persecuted. But he adds Uganda is intolerant to promotion of homosexuality. Right. And if, I, if, 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 if we go to, to, to what the anti-homosexuality bill states right now about promotion of homosexuality, if he says no promotion of homosexuality, he's basically saying um, the persecution will still be there. Why do I say this? Because it means you can't speak about it. We cannot have this kind of debate. 
because it will be it will be deemed a uh, promotion of homosexuality. If I if, if, if I went and and, and sought uh, services somewhere and a person knows that I am I, I am a homosexual, they would be promoting because they are basically enhancing my existence. So that would be promotion. So for me, I, I, I'm not excited about what he said, and I don't think it's um, exactly... Are you living under fear? Um, yes, I am. So um, why, don't you, why, don't you, why don't you shift and live what, a normal life? Where should I shift? This is who I am. Why should, why, why should I live in, um, in a form that I'm not? Why should I do that? I think, I think it's my right to live as I am, and I'm a citizen of this country. So I'll, I'll, I'll basically do whatever I have to do to make sure that I can live the way I am. All right, let's take a quick break. And when we return, we'll be reading out your comments. We'll, of course, be hearing from um, um, an anti-gay activist also telling us his side of the story. Good morning. Side of the story. Hello, Pastor. Yes, good morning, everyone. Good to have you online. How are you today? I am doing well. First, I'm really uh, extremely distressed. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Pepe is a young woman who is suffering from gender identity disorder. She is a girl who has been misled and confused to think she's a man. And so you can see the way she's dressing, the way she's coming across, is trying to be a man but you know pepe uh for me as a psychologist isn't that i an know that there are people choice? we have so many young girls who suffer from this it is a disorder and uh, some of these people they press their breasts or they go and get their breasts cut off they cut their hair then you end up with a, a pretty looking uh, young lady who is acting like a man so what they need, these are people who are suffering from mental order. They need psychological, psychiatrical, and spiritual help. And uh, the department, Butabika, for people like this one, so that they can be helped to come out of their madness. Uh, Pastor. Yes. Why don't you sympathize with such people who, who do not opt, but who are naturally, according to Onzima, he feels it's a natural calling for them to be men or for him to be what he is now. There is nothing natural about, about, about uh, using Bokoya and Biringanya in your private parts. Eh? There is nothing natural about putting uh, a man's genital inside another man's excretory system. There is nothing natural about Onzima be denying us a chance to have children and grandchildren. There is nothing natural at all about sodomy. It is a genocide. And when you add sodomy to HIV, you come up with a black genocide of Africans. There is nothing natural. This is a boy, this is a girl trying to act like a boy. Hmm? But you know, a trouser does not make you a man. Pastor. And you know, using cucumbers, we have many of our girls in schools. Pastor. Pastor. Urinary systems. They can no longer have uh, report from Onzima. Onzima, could you react to Pastor Sempa? No, he I will sounds not. sounds very abrasive. I will not. I choose not to react and give Sempa audience. I am not going to react to what he's saying. Do Please, you, feel you see she's afraid of the truth. Do you feel hmm? offended? The truth is this is a young woman who is confused to think that she's Pastor, a boy. Pastor, why don't you sound okay. sympathetic to a man who seems to be... Uh, undergoing, uh, uh, going through a transition of sorts. 